Hi, I'm George Swan. I educate, inspire, and support people to improve their well-being by overcoming anxiety so that they can live the lifestyle they've always wanted. We have now gone over incorporating the aware technique in video number one to quickly control anxiety and establish an awareness of our own thoughts and triggers so they're able to take control. So you're able to take control of them in video number two. Our focus in this third video today will be about how to disconnect from anxiety using the disassociation technique. Before we begin, I'd like to thank you for all your comments questions and I'm grateful that so many of you have found our journey together so valuable. Here are some of the people who would like to share their thoughts and results with you in hopes to educate, inspire and encourage you. I thought okay I'll have a, have a little look because that, this one has a lot of good reviews so yeah. some people must be thinking this is good. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I had a look on there and yeah. um, I thought alright I'll, I'll try this, I'll yeah. give this a go. I was a bit nervous at first mm -hmm. because I didn't know whether hypnotherapy was going to be um, what I wanted, yeah. but actually it's really, really helped me. Uh, what were some of the results for you? Yeah, I yeah. noticed the change straight away. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I right. noticed the change straight away, which was really encouraging for me. Yeah. And I think people think it's just going to be, okay, hypnosis, boom, done. Mm. It's not necessarily like that. Yeah. Because you still feel the emotions, you yeah. still sometimes feel anxious. Yeah. But then I think you have to learn that that's normal yeah. and you can control it. Oh, okay. And yeah. that's what this has given me, it's given me that control. Whenever you feel as though you are starting to battle against anxiety, we want to be able to take control of our thoughts and our emotions rather than merely being aware of them. So today, we're going to learn about the difference between what we call associated thinking and disassociated thinking. So what's the difference between associated thinking and disassociated thinking? For most people, when they think in associated mode, they are more connected with the emotions, the feelings, the sensations in the body. Whereas when we do disassociated thinking, we are more likely to disconnect from our emotional dimension of our human experience. Now, in video number two, we did the lemon exercise. Let's do that again, but this time I want you to notice the level of intensity because in this first example we're going to do it in associated mode and then we'll do it again in disassociated mode and then we'll compare the intensities between the two. So you can just see how associated you'll have a high level of emotions and sensations and disassociated you have a lower level of emotions and sensations. Okay, so. Let's get into a comfortable position and close your eyes. Now, imagine yourself sitting at a table and you're looking down through your eyes. So you're seeing this through first person perspective and you can see your arms and hands in front of you. And on that table is a cutting board. On that cutting board is a knife and a bright zesty lemon. Now, grab that knife. Cut that juicy lemon in half. Grab a piece of that juicy lemon. And perhaps you can smell that nice citrusy lemon smell. And now bite into it. Mm. That's it, just bite into it. Feel the juice flowing over your tongue. And notice any sensations that you get. And rate it out of 10. Notice that sensation, any saliva, mouth watering. Good. And now, open your eyes. Good. Did you feel the tingling sensation on the tongue? Did you get a sour taste in your mouth? A tingling sensation perhaps? Tangy sensation? Did your mouth water? Did you get the saliva? So notice the experience and perhaps rate the sensation, like maybe rate it, is it like a 4, a 5, a 10, whatever it is. Rate that sensation, because we're going to use that later. Now, that sensation you felt in the mouth, 
was a chemical reaction to the thoughts that you have in your imagination. So basically every thought that we have will have a reaction in the body. It's called the mind-body connection. We are often able to recognize these emotions by the physical sensations we feel in the body. Stress, anxiety often manifest as muscle, muscle tension, nervousness, or perhaps a feeling of butterflies in the stomach. So let's do that exercise again, but this time we'll do it using disassociated mode where you're looking at yourself from the outside. Okay, so whenever you're ready, close your eyes. And this time, I want you to imagine that you're looking at yourself sitting at the table. And maybe you can imagine a scene maybe at a restaurant or cafe and perhaps you're sitting outside, maybe on the footpath and you're watching yourself from across the road. So you're seeing yourself from across the road, sitting outside on the footpath in your imagination at this cafe and you're watching this whole scene unfold from across the road. And maybe there's even cars passing between where you're viewing the scene, your view angle and where you're actually sitting across the road on the footpath. So from across the road you can see yourself cutting that lemon. From across the road you can see yourself biting that lemon and you're seeing all this unfold from across the road. Now, open your eyes and think back to the sensations that you felt in the first time to the second time. And you probably notice now the second time, if you could rate it, most people rate it down low, like usually it's zero, one, two, three. And most people notice a drop in the sensations in the intensity. So notice how it compared, and notice how when you see yourself from the outside, bite into the lemon, that second sensation, for most people, like we said earlier, it's much lower than the first time when they're doing it, associated. Imagine themselves seeing it through their own eyes. So let's reflect on the difference between each type of thinking mode. When we felt the sensation, the strongest, we were doing it, imagining it through our own eyes. So we've seen it first person perspective. So generally, first person perspective, when we imagine see, seeing things in our imagination, generally emotions, sensations will be higher. And this is called associated and can be used to enhance any emotion such as love, joy, happiness. And in the second exercise, when we did that same exercise but disassociated and we saw ourselves from the outside, which we call disassociated, the intensity of that sensation by the lemon was lower. And that's how it is for most people. When used correctly, this association can be a powerful way to control anxiety. It allows us to desensitize ourselves. It allows us to desensitize ourselves. Hence, the emotions, sensations felt in the second exercise have been rated as much lower than the first. I'm hoping that this has opened your mind to how powerful your mindset and different thinking modes and can affect and enhance or reduce emotions through associated or dissociated thinking. So emotions such as fear, anxiety can be reduced using the disassociated mode of thinking. Now, I hope that you're enjoying today's session. This week, when you feel anxious, take a step back in that situation. Maybe go somewhere private if you can, or if you happen to be in a place where you can close your eyes. Close your eyes and then see that situation from the outside, maybe as if you're hovering above yourself, looking at down at yourself or looking at yourself from the outside and what you probably notice is the sensation of angst or stress will probably reduce. Now if you do this consistently it becomes a habit and then it gets embedded into the unconscious mind and then you just do it naturally. So I hope you enjoy the dissociation technique. Let me know how you go, how you apply it in your life and I hope you're enjoying this free video series. I'd love to serve you some more, which is why I created a more in-depth self-hypnosis course, because I found that some people will continue to suffer from anxiety unless they actually change their way of thinking. Again, you, you know, of course, the skills and techniques that I've been teaching you in these last few videos, you still have to do consciously, right? 
But wouldn't it be great if you could do this automatically and naturally without having to think about it? That's why my online self-hypnosis program is designed to do, to embed these thinking patterns into the unconscious mind so that you naturally do without having to think about it. Just like when you sign your name. At one time you have to consciously do it, now your fingers move all by themselves. So what do you get in this more in-depth online program? You get four units. So the first unit, Overcome Anxiety, Session 1, Aware Technique. So you watch a short five minute video and this video will explain the Aware Technique in more detail and you got two hypnotic downloads which you listen to before bed and you alternate between this one and this one and they're pretty much the same just one has some background natural sounds so you do that for the first seven days and then once you've completed this unit you move on to the second unit so the second unit is Overcome Anxiety Session 2, Stop Worst Case Thinking. Again, we've gone through a little bit of this in our free, in the free video series in video number two. Here we're going in much more depth. And again, it's a short five minute video that you watch. And then you've got two hypnotic downloads to listen to again at night. And you do that for the second week. So you listen to this one and then you alternate between this and this one. And you do that for the second week. and once that's complete, you mark it as complete, and then you move on to unit number three. So unit number three is changing that in a negative voice. And again, you watch a five minute video and then you've got some hypnotic downloads. And then you go on to the fourth and the final unit, which is stop worrying. And again, another short video, five minutes, and more hypnotic downloads to watch. So this will be week four. So that's the course. That's the units that you get. You get four units. Each unit has a video and two hypnotic downloads, which you alternate between. And you do one unit per week for four weeks. Whether you enroll in my course and invest in your future or not, and the things that this program teaches you, you still need to go out there and learn how to control anxiety anyway. What's the alternative? Living with anxiety for the rest of your life? So even if you don't buy my program, you still need to learn these skills eventually. Say you get invited to a party and you're anxious about it in the lead up. Maybe you're thinking about how people will respond to you, if they're gonna like you, if they're gonna judge you, and then you get there and you're self-conscious, you're spending too much time inside your head, not connecting out there with people, not being fully present in the moment, not being spontaneous, allowing your experience to unfold naturally. In my course, I will teach you how to drop all that stuff, all the negative thoughts, negative thinking, catastrophizing, the inner voice that you might be using, the negative voice that you might be using, so that you trust yourself, you believe in yourself, so that when you get to that event, you allow your experience to unfold naturally, spontaneously. And believe that no matter what, you'll be able to handle whatever comes in the future. I hope you got a lot of value out of today's video. And please go ahead, enter any questions, comments you wish to make in the comment section below, so I can keep in touch with you and personally reply to as many as I can. I look forward to serving you. I'll send you another video in a couple of days. And remember, trust yourself, do the things that make you feel most alive, and stay positive. Thank you.